my channel, Tora Athena, where today I am reviewing Ether by Dark Horse Comics. The cover dollar. The cover price is $3.99 and is written by Matt Kint. 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 I think that's how you say it. And is drawn by David Rubin. This comic is about a man of science who travels all across the galaxy to different realms for research. And in one particular world, he is asked to apply his scientific brain to solve a murder that they just think is magic. The cover of this comic sold it to me alone. I got excited when I saw this. I love Matt's work. I love everything he does. And I got really excited by this. I love sci-fi as well. So as soon as I realized it was scientific, I was all over that too. However, I wasn't completely in love with the entire comic. There were slight things that I found a bit troublesome. Some speech marks were placed awkwardly. I know it sounds weird, but there is a science to place in speech bubbles. There is a way that you have to do them to make sure that it flows properly for the reader and in some panels that wasn't the case and sometimes I would get confused at how the conversation was meant to be flowing. I liked that he did certain things like the villain had different coloured speech bubbles and I don't know if that's meant to be because he's a different race or it's meant to apply that he's lying or villainous I'm not sure but I liked that they did it. I have to admit I wasn't really loving this comic. Uh, the more I read the more I wasn't enjoying it until the ending. The last I think three pages gave me this theory and if this theory is correct it would make the book be from a 6 out of 10 to Spinal Tap. It would be an 11. It would be so awesome and my brain explodes. And I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I've just got goosebumps thinking about it. The art in general is quite sketchy while the colours are quite pastel, which usually doesn't really go hand in hand together. Usually you get a uh, like a gritty kind of look with dark monochrome colours. You don't usually have it with pastel light pale colours and it kind of gave this trippy effect to it which I did like but at certain pages I was very intrigued about where certain things were going and I was paying much more attention to the panels and the pictures and in them particular panels I wish were more clearer. I do like the gritty effect though in a lot of comics but yeah just one or twice I wish that there was a bit more detail. Overall though I have to get the second issue. The ending did its job it made me want to carry on reading it and if i'm right if i'm right it will be genius so comment below let me know what you thought do you have a theory if you've read this comic do you know what the theory is can you imagine what the theory is do you have the same theory tweet me or message me or something like that but don't spoil it for everyone don't put spoilers in the comments tweet me or something i'm just really intrigued to see if anyone else has this theory but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video because it really does help out my video and if you haven't already why not subscribe because i do geeky videos every day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow so of course it's gonna be tomorrow i do geeky videos every day <laughs> bye